silent film star Rudolph Valentino purchased a ring while shopping in San Francisco one day. The shopkeeper warned him that it was cursed, calling it the destiny ring, and didn't want to sell it to him. Valentino insisted, and purchased the silver ring with a tiger's eye, leading to a series of unfortunate incidents and deaths happening to everyone who has owned the ring since. This is the mystery of Rudolph Valentino's cursed ring. Rudolph Valentino was a famous silent film actor active from 1915 to 1925. He starred in many films such as The Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse, The Sheik, Blood and Sand, The Eagle, and The Son of the Sheik. Valentino was born in Italy in 1895. He moved to the United States in 1913 in search of work. He worked a few odd jobs before rising to stardom as a silent film actor due to his striking good looks. While shopping in San Francisco one day, Valentino came across a stunning silver and tiger's eye ring and fell in love with it. He asked the shopkeeper if he could purchase it only to be refused. The shopkeeper said the ring was cursed and that terrible things happened to its previous owners. Valentino didn't care and insisted on buying the ring for a pricey sum. Valentino wore the ring every day while filming his new movie The Young Raja. The Young Raja turned out to be Valentino's first critical and commercial flop. This was the first sign that there was something amiss with the ring. Valentino decided not to wear the ring for a while after this but eventually put it back on for the premiere of his movie Son of the Sheik. After this, he started wearing the ring again daily. Just a few weeks later, Valentino collapsed outside of his New York apartment and was rushed to hospital. He was initially diagnosed with appendicitis and taken into surgery, where it was discovered he actually had several perforated ulcers. Valentino had died from peritonitis aged 31, and several women and at least one man took their own lives in anguish. An estimated 100,000 people mourned outside his funeral home after his death and he was cemented as the first documented victim of the ring. The ring seen on the finger of Valentino's lover at the time, actress Pola Negri, a well-known Hollywood vamp, in this portrait by the Spanish artist Federico Beltran Masses is said to be the fateful ring that cursed a string of owners. Valentino died within a year of this portrait's painting. After Valentino's death, Pola was given the choice of anything she wanted from Valentino's belongings. She chose to take the ring due to its beauty and its importance to Valentino. Not long after receiving the ring, Pola became gravely ill. While she recovered, her Hollywood career came to an abrupt end. She decided to pass the ring to a young singer named Russ Colombo, who was said to be a lookalike of Valentino and reminded her of him. Just a few days after being given the ring, Ross Colombo was accidentally shot and killed by his friend. The ring then went to Colombo's best friend Joe Casino. Joe Casino had heard the ring was cursed and was weary enough to keep it locked away in a glass case. After a few years the fear wore off and he decided to wear it, resulting in a fatal accident. Joe was hit and killed by a truck a week later. By this time the ring's reputation had grown. When Casino's brother Dell inherited it, he locked it away in a safe in his house. After several years a thief broke into Dell's home, named James Willis, who set off the alarm in the house, and when police arrived on the scene, they shot Willis and killed him. Inside his pocket was the ring, which was recovered and placed back in the safe. This convinced Dell of the curse and he kept the ring locked away until 1938, when director Edward Small asked Dell Casino if he could borrow the ring and some of Valentino's clothes for a test screening for a movie he was interested in making about the late actor. Dell reluctantly agreed to this request. Edward Small hired an unknown actor named Jack Dunn to portray Valentino and had him wear the ring. Jack Dunn died just ten days later from tularemia, a rare disease he'd picked up from handling a dead rabbit on a hunting trip. The ring was returned to Del Casino who kept it hidden until he died of natural causes. His possessions, including the cursed ring, were transferred to a bank vault in Los Angeles. While the ring was in the vault, the bank was robbed twice. On the second occasion, the ring was taken by thieves who were shot dead while trying to make their getaway. 
the ring was returned to the bank vault where it remained until it went missing during a fire at the bank. Today, the ring's whereabouts are currently unknown. Author and journalist Elise Wax told Ripley's, I do not know exactly where it came from, nor do I know where it is now. I believe that the actual events took place, however I do not believe the ring is cursed. I don't really believe in curses. I think it was a string of unfortunate incidents that people attached to a physical object. Despite the fact that I don't believe in curses, it is quite a remarkable sequence of events, and I don't blame anyone for believing in a curse. The timing is just eerie. So, what are your thoughts on this case? Do you believe the ring is cursed, or do you think it's all just a series of strange coincidences? If you would like to read more into this story, our references are linked in the description of the video. If you don't want to miss out on future unexplained mysteries, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on future uploads. Thanks for watching, and take care.